Today, I bought this massive box of Yu-Gi-Oh! Blister Packs. What's up, guys? We're back with another big box collection, and inside is literally all blister packs. I think it's all blister packs. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's all blister packs. This should be a pretty amazing opening because there's some old school, there's some newer ones. It should, it's a big collection of blisters. I'm really excited to open it up. For that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these cards. These cards were actually sent in by Pokey TJ, who also made us this little millennium puzzle right here so shout out to pokey dj for sending me that very cool we put it in the background it kind of fits with the Yu-Gi-Oh style i need to turn it a little bit all right there we go i fixed it so uh if you want to win this giveaway it's a bunch of rarity two cards just like the video be subscribed to the notifications let me know down below what's your favorite blister from this box there's a lot to choose from let's see what they are all right let's crack this thing open and let's see what we can get by the way if you guys want to uh, check out ruxin 34.com there's a possibility some of these will be on there so go check out ruxin 34.com which is my website which you have a bunch of stuff for sale whether it be blisters booster boxes singles psa cards all that stuff is available go check out the website all right let's get this thing open priority mail huh let's see what was so priority okay uh yeah i'm not gonna hold it like this okay this is actually crazy good packaging well done dude well done this is impressive like i was not expecting to see this okay this is, is this sealed these are all sealed okay this is gonna be a little a little awkward to get open because they're they're like as long as the blister pack so where's my scissors so there's not a lot of room to actually get them out let's be very yeah the end is right there uh i'm gonna cut it like that maybe a little bit like that okay i don't know which ones we're opening because some of them are in bubble mailers like this and some are not so we're gonna try to get these bubble mailer ones out first this doesn't seem necessary for battles of legend monsters revenge the packaging is so good it's almost unnecessary like battles of legend monsters revenge is like a five dollar pack or something so not necessary i don't think we have wild survivors there okay very cool i'm gonna speed through getting these open real quick because it might take me a second now that i know it's more of a newer one so i'm not gonna freak out too much okay we have a duelist nexus so very cool i do kind of like the pokemon style blisters they're cool i mean i will miss the old ones i feel like these will hold together a little better though because those other ones could like fall off because the glue eventually would just you know stop working you know just depending on how how good a condition they were but it's still kind of like uh eh, not not the best design okay oh the, okay so we do have some loose packs yeah i thought there might be some loose packs oh first edition shining we might be opening okay we will be opening a few packs at the end of, the end of this now that i know that we probably open one of these at least so don't worry guys we'll be opening some packs as well because i know you guys like pack opening that's why you follow me and speaking of why you follow me if you haven't already hit that subscribe button because at 250,000, we'll be opening every pack ever made in Yu-Gi-Oh history in the tcg not ocg because that would be crazy i had a line on working on doing ocg all those packs and it just fell through which was sad okay flaming eternity nice kind of forgot about the loose packs that's exciting so more stuff to open very fun i'll probably be opening this very soon whether it's in this video or not you know i'm gonna get get a little excited open some packs you know it's something besides uh what, what is it called battles of legend whatever terminal revenge that's you know it's nice to not open for the meiji every once in a while because <laughs> that has been a lot of our videos but it has been fun to search for that sucker okay more packs first edition legacy of darkness ancient sanctuary we got some good selection right here this is gonna be it's gonna be fun at the end uh yeah definitely we're gonna be opening a bunch of packs okay maybe all of these are loose packs i don't know i'm gonna yeah, that one doesn't feel like a blister so oh there was a blister <laughs> i'm glad that i i was like wait a second that doesn't feel as easy as it should be all right so i almost chopped these in half the valiant smashers i never saw this one this one actually looks really nice and then legacy of destruction so the new blisters very cool very pretty i like the look of those it's crazy how long they've been doing them already because monsters revenge was like last like literally a year ago so i mean they've been doing them over a year i guess pretty wild to think about let's see what else do we have the oldest one here is yeah it's got may oh, duelist nexus was last year at around the same time rarity one nice and mesa millennium it just shows you how many releases we have these days there are a lot of releases so this is a pretty cool collection actually i gotta stop saying that i always say something and i say actually like i'm like shocked that it's like good like whoa actually it's like well duh it's cool it's a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards age of overlord that's probably a nice one i mean just sp just got reprinted so yeah i had a little bit of a discussion and maybe you're watching uh i don't remember what the name was but we were, we were kind of arguing back and forth about age of overlord he, the guy was like yeah i i think age of, no he said age of overlord was a better investment than infinite and forbidden and i was like why because these are all gonna get it's gonna go down as soon as the reprint happens and he was like first he said yeah i'm investing in boxes then he said oh yeah i'm gonna sell them as soon as they reprint the cards and i was like so you're not investing in them i was really confused because i was like 
But then I was like, why wouldn't you just sell them now then? Because you know they're going to get reprinted. Why would you wait? Because as soon as they announce the reprint, that goes down. So maybe you're watching in the comments and you can explain because I got confused in that on that. I was like, I don't get why you wouldn't just sell them now. If, you, if you're like investing, that means you're holding them for a long time. But you said you were selling on the reprint, but you're selling at the reprint. So you're going to let them announce it and lower your value. I was confused. So I don't know. I don't know. why. Maybe I maybe I missed something there. So I think that was on like a Magia video or something. Yeah, it must, I don't remember what it was. No, no, it was the Walmart Walmart info video i think is what it was maybe i can't remember it wasn't really arguing you know just going back and forth you know arguing it makes it sound negative i don't think it was a negative conversation necessarily but uh there's that i don't know that just reminded me of that i was like because then the sp announcement came out i was like i wonder if that guy sold his boxes because i said you should probably sell them if you're gonna do that i hope he did because i'm like that's probably not a good idea to hold until they announce sp reprint because that goes down immediately right okay tune chaos first oh a lot of first deads. Okay. I wonder if those are out of an open box. They probably are, but who knows? So this is kind of the newer stuff. I mean, there is some new, some old stuff there too, but like some of the, there are some old blisters coming up. I'm opening these, bo this box over here because it's just, okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking, everybody. We've got some cool stuff here. We have Soul of Duelist First Edition. So a lot of this is going to be really nice. A Legends, this is a repack. So it's not an original blister, but it is a repack first set Soul of Duelist. You can't see if it's hobby or retail, unfortunately. I do have some Soul of Duelist first edition boxes though, hobby. So if you guys are interested, I'm keeping a few, but there will be some for sale because I ended up getting a bunch of those boxes. Very cool because you can get the Horus, but uh, first edition Cyberdark Impact. That's, I mean, oh wait, this is a real blister, so it's guaranteed retail. So that is a retail pack. Pretty nice looking though. We have Enemy of Justice first edition, same thing. It's also gonna be retail. That's the problem with GX blisters is like a lot of the retail packs suck, like in terms of like the pulls. So there's really no incentive to open them. Kind of a good thing though, cause then it's like, now I'm not gonna wanna open them, you know? Power of the Duelist, a little bit better cause you can get future fusion. So there's a few good cards in there. It just sucks that they did hobby retail. It really, it's really just upsetting. Like it was fine in the Duel Monsters era because it was like just the secret. So it was like, you still get most of the cards, but they really screwed over the early GX era because they're like yeah all the really cool cards you want in ultimate rare they're not in this box so i don't know why that exists the good side of it is if you want a sealed item like i do have some cybernetic revolution retail sealed boxes they're a lot cheaper than the hobby so you can get them like half price so if you want the sealed box and not to open it it kind of makes sense to buy the retail so yeah that's the only good side of it other than that it's like opening it's like ugh, no reason to open this and well cybernetic revolution has a couple cool cards but it's still not worth it. i was actually thinking about opening one of the ones i have because there is potential at bubble man there's potential at uh miracle fusion and those are like actual bangers like miracle fusion i think it's like 300 bucks so i was like actually there are a couple good cards in cybernetic revolution at this point maybe it'll age well who knows okay let me get this other box open that was a nice little selection there okay now we're talking all right i mean we were already talking a second ago but we have first dead labyrinth of nightmares so that's a magic cylinder pack legacy of darkness first dead we have phronic guardian first dead i'm gonna be you guys are probably seeing this around when collecticon is i'm probably gonna bring these because it's just really good items to have available dark crisis and ancient sanctuary because like normally they go on ruxin 34com but some of these are probably going to go to collecticon first just so i have some cool stuff you know to sell and i think people will really i mean a single pack of those packs is it's a good seller people will want that and the best part is maybe somebody will come up by and ask me to open it so then we can get more content so it's like a win-win you know so that would be really cool okay we got another box here i got a ton of content at charlotte last year and i'm hoping we can do that again like a ton of content we made like five or six videos which was amazing when, anytime i come back from a trip with more videos than the days i was gone like if i was gone three days and i made six videos it's like that was a crazy trip i killed it you know what i mean okay uh packs here this is more newer but still really good stuff like rising rampage so we could get you know, the, the classic Apollosa, actual Starlight, not the 25th anniversary. We have the Battles Legend Heroes Revenge with the Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Mystic Fighters, that is crazy old at this point. Not crazy old, but it's pretty old. Speaking of, oh my goodness, Rise of the Duelist. Expensive pack right here. Expensive pack. That was a really good set at the time. 2020, I think. Toon Chaos, a couple of those. We've got a Fusion Enforcers Alistair. I love the look at this. These actually look crazy good. Wow, that purple looks nice. Okay, I love the look of Fusion Enforcers. It has Alistair. It's, it's a great set. First edition Shining Darkness. That's nice. First, no, not first edition. Yep, obviously. That would be a repackage if it was. Unlimited Duelist Genesis. Beautiful. Ghost or Stardust, maybe. A Crimson Crisis first edition. And a first edition Storm of Ragnarok. So nice stuff there. We're still not done, by the way. There is more. Don't you worry. There is more, guys. Okay, Genesis Impact first edition. We have Ancient Guardians. Okay, those are those are pretty bad sets, but you know, they're cool. They're blisters. We have Tactical Masters first ad. We have Amazing Defenders, Power of the Elements, Crystal Revenge, Blazing Vortex, 
Genesis Impact and Ignition Assault. We got a little hair on there. Let's get that off there. No hairs on the video. Ow, I just punched the thing. Okay, still more, still more. Okay, ooh, cool one. We have Battles of Chaos First Edition. We have Ignition Assault First Edition. A few of those. Try to pull that Lightning Storm that went from $300 in our investment to like 80 bucks. So that feels great. Then we have Darkwing Blast First Edition. Ignition Assault. Lightning Overdrive. Dawn of Majesty. Dimension Force. Okay, these are stuck together. Something in it. I hate this set. I always get the name wrong. Burst of Destiny. Okay, so a bunch of cool modern ones. There's still three more boxes, by the way. There is a ton of stuff in this collection. A few more. This packaging is just really impressive. I'm not going to lie. Like, shout out to the guy I bought this from. I think his name was Joe. I forgot to look. Was it Joe? I'm sorry, Joe, if your name is not Joe. You are now Joe. But thank you for selling me these. I meant to look at that and I forgot. Okay, first edition Dragons of Legend 2. That's pretty old at this point. Speed Duel. Okay, who really cares? It's Speed Duel. I mean, let's be honest. Sorry, Speed Duel fans. We have Soul Duelist. Not Soul Duelist. Soul Fusion. Everything has the same name, okay? More Dragons of Legend 2. That has Toon Kingdom in it. Dragons of Legend Unleashed. Then, oh my gosh, a bunch of Invasion Vengeance. This is a pretty bad set, but pretty cool looking, I will say. I think it was like a 16, 2016 set. This is a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Okay, another another stack right here, kind of like the one we just looked at. This is kind of my era. This is when I got back into it. Destiny Soldiers 2018 or 17, I think. Spirit Warriors, same thing. These were always at Walmart. We had these Secret Slayers. That was a really good set at the time. El Lich. Raging Tempest and Flames of Destruction first edition. More Dragons of Legend Unleashed. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge. Or Armageddon. <laughs> Not Magia. I keep, keep forgetting. Armageddon. Look, the funny thing is, it's almost worth the same as the Magia, the 10K Dragon. I would I would rather have the 10K Dragon, but right now, maybe I would want the Magia with how many packs we open. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought it was a big box. It's two more of these smaller boxes. So another couple stacks, it looks like. This is a blister collection, all right? Like, this is, this is pretty solid. A pretty solid blister collection. Okay, I've never opened one of these in blister form. We have World Superstars First Edition. You can get that uh, Dragon Magician of Dark. No. Magician of Dark. What is that thing called? Legendary Magician of Dark. Legendary Dragon of White, I think is what they're called. Um, Cybernetic Horizon. Not an amazing set. It did have a big card. It was like Boralode something in it. Uh, I can't remember anymore. Hidden Summoners. Dark Neo Storm. Yeah, a lot of these are in the crappy era. Oh, we're getting some dust falling down. I need to dust off my light. Okay, calm down over there. Yeah, a lot of these were the dead era of like, you know, 2016 to 2018. Where there just wasn't that much exciting to open, you know. But they are still cool to have, you know, cool blisters. This is when I came back and I was like, man, why does everything suck? Okay, they did have for the reprints. That's what I love. Brothers of Legend, Eternity Code's big. It's 2021. Maze of Memories, what's on Hypernova. Grand Creators of Phantom Raid. Sorry, I'm punching the camera so much, but there's so much stuff laying around. I'm trying to make room. All right, the final box. And we're going to open a couple packs after this because, you know, you don't just buy a bunch of packs and not open any packs, right? That's just messed up. That is just messed up. Oh, okay. We're going to end off with a nice one. We've got some... Uh, what is this, Zexel era? Is this Zexel? What's Photon Shockwave from? 2012. That was Zexel, right? Yeah, that was that was Zexel. So uh, that's a really nice pack. We've got a Battle City pack. Those are probably pretty rare at this point. Legendary Duelist Magical Hero. That's a good magical or a Legendary Duelist set. Okay. It's a bunch of Legendary Duelist. Duelist pack. Legendary Duelist. Mobile Destiny was good when it came out. Same thing with Ridge Raw. was pretty good. Now, that was a little bit of a dud. Same thing with that and that. So they, the last three have been pretty bad, but the other ones were pretty nice. So that's all the blisters we got. I mean, not acting like that's not a lot because that was a lot of blisters. Okay, let's open a couple packs. Let's do a Toon Chaos pack because, you know, it's Toon Chaos. You got to open it up, have a little fun with it, see what you can get. Maybe you can... Okay, I'm going to do two from the back. I think that's okay here. Okay, Master of Goka. Can we get a collector rare? First edition would be pretty epic. Blacklister Soldier. Masiro Deanne, Toon Terror. Okay, so we didn't get anything. Just a Toon Terror, that's fine. Let's try a... What do we want to open? I kind of want to open an old pack. How about a Flaming Eternity? We have a bunch of them. First edition, do we know? That is a retail pack. So retail Flaming Eternity, we want the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. That is a big rare. There's probably something else, but I haven't opened a lot of retail of this set. I haven't opened a lot of this set in general. It's kind of one that it's a little bit... I don't know if it's, say, rare, but it's just not around as much. Let's see if we can get something big. We have Earth Hexial Fusion. I wouldn't be mad to pull the Flaming Eternity... Uh, cover card either. That'd be nice to get the Sacred Phoenix. Big March of the Animals. We have Hyena. Chusuke the Mouse Fighter. Hyena again. Double Hyena. And then if it's sent to the graveyard, you special summon any Hyena from your deck. That makes sense. We got two in one pack. Uh, Chusuke the Mouse Fighter again. What the heck? Okay, that's weird. Two double commons. Chiron the Mage. Look, I use this guy 
in um in wheeled goat you guys actually probably have not seen this episode yet but i use this guy in wheeled goat he's kind of sick we tested a bunch with him on twitch which by the way if you like wheeled goat and you want to be there when we're making the deck slot and if you want to test with me like you have a goat format deck on master duel then go to my stream on monday we call it master duel monday and you guys can be a part of the deck building and then we can test if you're new then i'll probably try to get you in there earlier than some of the regulars uh that way you know you get to get to participate in stuff so come on over it's super fun it's really enjoyable i've had so much fun with uh master Duel monday slash wield a uh, wield goat go check out wield goat if you missed it we have four episodes out at the time of recording this maybe five by the time you see it because i'm recording a little ahead because i gotta go to charlotte and stuff so okay it's been very fun shining darkness let's see if we can pull a ghost rare out of here I'll, let's do three because i'm not sure what it is we have infernity randomizer crevice into a different dimension we've got the spore a simple spore card breaker GT, we have a uh, Blossom Bombardment, Morphtronic, a Vacuum. Oh. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I did a Ruxa special. I did a Ruxa special. It's 22. I don't think that's the Black Wing, but it is a Synchro. <laughs> An ultimate rare. <laughs> Splendid Rose. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take the Ruxa special. I can't reach my sleeves. There's too many blisters in the way. So we're just going to end the video with me holding this. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this at 250 con 250 content. 250K will be opening every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also check out Ruxin34.com if you want to support. Some of the stuff may be on there. If it's not, there's all there's other amazing things available as well. So I can't speak right now. So let's just end the video. Shout out to Tom Fosho, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia. Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.